Why is this so me in the mornings? <laughs> I think it's the hair. Oh, oh, I meant more in spirit. Oh, done. Welcome back to my channel, my friends. So today's a what eight in a day, and I guess the whole point of it is to just kind of show you, Mario, how would you summarize it? In your own words, strictly your own words. How would I summarize what you're gonna share? Yeah. Foods consumed and excreted in a 24 hour window that aligns neatly with the Gregorian calendar. That would be my alternate title. <laughs> now people know what it's about. Right. So it's breakfast now. I wanna make some baked oatmeal muffins. They're super easy to make. You make them once, you have them for days, that's why I'm making them on my day off. And then when I'm on the job, <laughs> I just, have them ready. You gotta set yourself up for just ease. For success. Easy success. For easy success? <laughs> easy success. This is actually a get rich quick scheme. Oh. First step, make muffins. Now that is a right banana. Mush it. Tricep push down is the only functional movement. Look, what are you doing right now? Tricep push down. One half and one quarter. Equal three quarters. This is actually a maths channel. Were you good at maths? Only because I worked hard. Not like you. You were really good at maths. Mario was really good at maths. Oh damn, Steven Spielberg's here. This is what all the best chefs in the world do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is what Ramsay told me to do. 15 minutes. Now we wait. Now we... Hope. I saw someone comment once, why don't they kiss on camera? Like there's some kind of conspiracy. Really? I don't know why. Because we're not actually together. I hate her, but she just makes really good muffins. He's just here for the muffins. <laughs> now that is a breakfast. A little muffins. <laughs> it sounds like I'm talking to you. These guys are my friends. These guys are your little muffins. <laughs> my little muffins. Mm. Well, it's weird that you're not sitting next to me because you're always sitting next to me. Yeah, I'm an ugly eater. I'm a seductive eater. I don't want to excite all of these guys, you know? And get your videos censored. Get them demonetized. But All I need to do to get my videos demonetized is mention Gwyneth. Is mention Gwyneth. As soon as you say that word, um, YouTube's like, uh, no money for you. <laughs> you know they do that language processing where, depending on the tone that you use, if you're likely to be saying a positive thing. So they're like, Gwyneth <laughs> or Gwyneth. They yeah. would know. Maybe You've got to be Gwyneth friendly. Yeah, Gwyneth positive. Yeah. Okay, quick training update. I know in the video where I was coming back from a year of no training because I had an injury, I was talking about trying to rebuild my foundation in terms of strength. And I spoke about targeting a little bit of fat loss over the last six months, but that's done now. My training has just gone back to what I've always loved, which is just keeping it, keeping it rounded, keeping it varied, keeping it enjoyable, and yeah. That's, that's where we're at. Do you have like a, a song that really gets you in the mood for a workout? What is it? I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba die. I'm blue. What's your song? New level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. What did you just say? I don't know because every time. <laughs> I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level.
Is that 10? Yeah! I feel like someone surprised themselves. I am very happy about it. I reckon there could have been an 11th and potentially a 12th. Potentially a 12th. Lingering. <laughs> The size of it. It's absolutely huge. Did you know it was this big? I hoped it would be. I dreamed it would be. This is Mario's choice. I wasn't so sure about it when you showed me. Now I understand the vision. How nice is that? That's really nice. Hello. Welcome to the house. I'm going to be your plant mother. I really like this one now. All right, we're going to take a family photo. Everyone smile. Nice. Did you do a silly one? Like a silly one, yeah. Every, <laughs> every parent does a silly one. Okay, it's time for lunch. I've got one of these coming right at you. You can tell it's someone's day off. <laughs> I've never seen you have this much time in your life. I know, I know. <laughs> yes, I know the freezer's a mess, but my life's a mess, so you know, what's changed? Nothing. So we're having gyoza, they're from Frozen. And uh, just three pounds for a bag, so super easy. All I'm doing now is reheating the pan, heat them up, chuck them in with a the salad, done. So easy I could do it. So easy you could do it. You've become an advanced chef, I'd say. <laughs> Look at you blush. You love that I just said that. I bet I'm doing this so well. Huh? I bet I'm going to get comments being like, no, this is wrong. It's okay, you're learning. I'm learning. If you have tips, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> they're stuck, okay? You put them there, they're staying there. I'm really excited for this. Wow, that plant. Damn. That plant is looking good. Now they're moving. <laughs> Look at that base. Ooh. You're telling me I'm not a pro? You're telling me I'm not a pro? We're gonna have a lot. That's all right, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with a lot. That's a great base. That's a great base. Very good. Approved. Very good. Mm. Very good. Really good. Do you want a... No, she didn't. She was a waitress. She was a waitress. In the past, I would have four plates like that. Like Spider-Man? Like Spider-Man, like that. Okay, if the plates were like not as big as that, three in each hand. No, you wouldn't. And I've got small hands. Four-hander? Four-hander, no. No one's been a four-hander. Legend has it, there was a fable of a man who could four-hand it. But personally, I've never seen it. So your record is three-hand? My record is three. Triple-hander? Triple-hander, yeah. <laughs> I really try. I feel like I need to publicly say I'm sorry to my Asian friends and family and my dad for he taught me how to use chopsticks, but I'm still really bad. Let me see your like technique. My technique is really unorthodox. Uh... <laughs> that was amazing. I'm done. Ten out of ten from me. It really was ten out of ten. It really was a ten out of ten. Give me a high five. No, show my hand. Oh, shake your hand, yeah. Keep it professional. Keep it extreme. Seriously. Not enough professionalism in this video. <laughs> exactly. Glad to hear the uh, the family's well. I'll get my uh, PA to set us up with another meeting. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. if you can slot me in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's time for dessert. I'm doing this like cottage cheese, strawberry kind of combo. Hear me out, okay? Because in the past I was like, why would you ever have cottage cheese not savory? It just speaks savory food to me. But I thought, you know what? 
I'll give it a go. So we're gonna do it with strawberries. I don't think it really matters if you have gelatin or not. I think it just makes it like extra, mm, like thick, you know? Now that is gelatinous. That's the new word of the day. I need to see you guys using it in all contexts, across your daily lives. Every essay you write, every WhatsApp you're sending, gelatinous. We're watching Severance at the moment, which is a show on Apple TV, and it's so good. It's a bit slow to start off with. Mario fell asleep probably oh, five so times. Oh, so many times. Yeah, he fell what the hell is that about? It's I couldn't stop falling asleep. It's because it's very like quiet, and then it gets going. And then it gets good, and then I couldn't sleep because <laughs> it was so freaking good. God. Okay, we're on the last episode of this show, right, for this season, and Natasha gets very sentimental. So. I don't know what state she's going to be in, in well, an hour. No, I'll be fine. I'll be sad that it's over. But it won't be like The Office. Okay. When I watched the last season of The Office, it's because it's the last season. Here you they collapsed go. on I... the floor. Oh, it was bad. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to chat a little bit about how I eat and the content that I put out there. And you guys know that for a few years now I've been using the term intuitive eating to describe the way that I eat. And when I've spoken about intuitive eating in the past, I've tried to be really clear that my goals have mainly been training specific goals. So either getting stronger, learning new skills or new movements, or improving my endurance so that I'm just ready for any new challenge. Rather than specific goals where nutrition might need to be factored in, like fat loss or muscle building. And I used the term intuitive eating because I felt like it was a really easy way to communicate and say that I listen to my hunger cues, I eat, everything is inclusive, like there's no restrictions, I don't worry about timings, I don't have any rules. Like, there are no rules. My goal was, and is still, to push back on the idea that to be healthy or to achieve fitness goals, you need to be meticulously thinking about your diet all the time and eating foods that you don't enjoy. I don't believe in that. I don't do that. You guys have seen me. That's never gonna be me. And when you create content for a lot of people, there can be a lot of value in language that helps you share an idea easily and quickly. But I am gonna stop using the term intuitive eating and to be honest, I'm gonna stop using any terms, any labels whatsoever, I'm gonna stop using them. Because I feel like it gives the impression that I'm more opinionated than I am, or that I'm thinking about something more than I am. And I think there can be a real temptation to read too much into things around the topic of food sometimes. And I've always said it, you achieve balance when you're comfortable in moments of imbalance. Not when you've perfectly calculated your definition of balance and applied it to every single day. I make these videos for two reasons. The first is to share recipes and new food ideas because we've all been bored of what we're eating. Like I've been there where I'm just eating the same thing day in, day out. Like those gyoza, part of the family now. <laughs> They're gonna be a regular of mine. And the second is that I try and share where my approach has gotten me. I try to encourage you guys to take the slow route and to not rush any phase, whether that's losing fat or building muscle or getting stronger. And I know that's not sexy. I get that. I know that if I titled my videos, how to get lean in two weeks or get shredded abs in this workout, I feel like that's such a cheap and easy way to go about it. But I know that that would get more views, 10 times more views. I'm just not gonna do that. If you just give yourself time and you learn about the science and you prioritize enjoying your workouts so that you stick to them, it's unbelievable the transformations you can make and what you can do for yourself. When I came back from my injury, I decided that I wanted to make a little bit of fat loss a goal of mine, and I said I don't care how long it takes. And it took me about six months. I didn't rush it. I prioritized my health throughout, and I made the whole process really enjoyable. I work out about four hours a week, 
I spend a lot of my time sitting at my desk. I have not enjoyed my food. I haven't overtrained. I haven't felt frustrated for years and years and years and years. And I'm happy with my results all because I took it slow. So when I put out content around fat loss or muscle building or whatever, that's not me telling you what you should do. Only you can make that decision. But if you do decide to go after one of those goals, I don't want the only content out there to be crap, something that's not based in science that could make you have an unhealthy, unhappy journey. <laughs> what have we got here? Where is... What are you doing over there? You look like, you look like a child. Why was this up there? Why are you hiding it from me? Um, I don't know. Now just, I'm just... pissed. It's not the right time. You got three days left. Go on then, open it. I feel bad now. Why? How prepared are you getting? She's literally getting ready. Should we start off with a starter? Let me peer review. Yeah, you peer review. Test the theory. Could be a bit more salty. I know what you mean. They're not very salty. Mm. I think probably the most... I'm still going to eat them. I mean, I'll be honest with you. The most salted caramel-esque thing we've eaten was my popcorn. That was really salted caramel -y. Oh, man. That was so salted popcorn -y. Caramel... What? What? What's it called? <laughs> salted caramel popcorn so, ice cream. Salted caramel popcorn ice cream. It's it just, just too many it, words. It rolls off the tongue, I thought. I don't think they're supposed to be eaten on a bed. Let's just see how it goes. Oh. It's actually quite clean, actually. Oh, really? Wow. Mm. That was really nice. Yeah. Tasha wants to teach me a thing or two about baseball. Believe it or not. <laughs> Nobody's going to expect what they're about to see. I don't think they know that I've actually been scouted multiple times to join league baseball. Name one major league baseball team. God, so many. Um, Boston Red Sox. I'm actually very impressed. That last one was really good. That's it, how was, it's done. it was painful getting there, but the last one <laughs> it was painful getting there. Tu sais quelle variante tu as? Welcome to uh, the kitchen. Tonight we're making mango salsa with chicken and coconut rice. Okay, that's what we're aiming for. I've made it before, it didn't come out looking like that. But I bought a new pan. I think it was the, the it was it was the pan. That's all it's gonna be, right? You can't blame the chef. But what I basically do is I find recipes from photos and then I just find a way to make it really quick. I love peeling stuff. It's like really satisfactory for me. You mean satisfying, not satisfactory. You're just playing it cool. Yeah. Man, you love playing hard to get. That's what she did to me. Did it work? <laughs> yeah, it worked. Is that your love advice? Play hard to find. Don't play hard to get. Play hard to locate. <laughs> That's how they like it. Oh, this is a great mango. I know some of you guys are probably judging me really hard on the rice situation, <laughs> the rice being in a packet. But sometimes convenience beats, beats being perfect all the time. If you try and set the bar at being perfect all the time, then 
it's really easy to give up. So that's why I've gone for packaged rice, just because it's easy and I still get to eat the rice and have the meal that I want. It's like home cooking with a little bit of assistance, you know? Assisted cooking. Oh wow, look at that sunset light. That was a really nice day off. It was a nice day That off. was a really nice day off. Thanks That's for fun. hanging out with us. Hey, me or them? Everyone. Oh, everyone. thanks you. everyone. Thanks me. Me, myself, I'm glad I was here. Okay, so I wanna enjoy my tea and just try and switch my brain off. And I think Mario's gonna play some computer games and switch his brain off. He always says it's him, his version of chilling, even though for me, it's like a high pressure situation. Like when I'm watching him play, I'm stood up on the couch, like I'm so tense, but apparently it relaxes him. So, you know, but I love you guys. It's so good seeing more of you come over onto Instagram because I know I don't get to post super often on here and it's just nice seeing your faces a little bit more often. So. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to join our incredible family. And that's everything. And I love you guys so much. That's the most important thing. So I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.